Uh, well, hello again, everybody. I am back at you. This time, I have a camera that actually works. <sighs> and what I mean by that is my phone was all messed up that I couldn't film it because my landscape was messed up where even on the unlocked portrait part, it wouldn't work. So I had to get a new phone and now my camera's working well again. In this vlog, we're going to be talking about baseball management and how management sometimes doesn't always go as planned, which is why there are recent changes in pit and in management. Obviously, ask Braves manager Freddie Gonzalez, as the thing you look at in this is when you throw in struggling teams or teams that are not making any adjustments, it's called a term that Albert Einstein used to say, it's called insanity. It's when you try something repetitively, but get the same results and the same affect, in a sense. Um, the Braves, I understood the Braves' decision to fire Freddy Gonzalez. Freddy Gonzalez, I don't think, was the problem. I think it's the core of players that they have. I just don't think... They have the right players, maybe outside of Freddie Freeman. And I like that Ender Enciarte kid from, uh, he was from the D-backs. He was involved in that trade that gave uh, Arizona Shelby Miller. And Shelby Miller hasn't really done anything for them. So that's kind of a loss-loss trade right there for both Atlanta and Arizona. But managements, or I should say managers, that I personally think are going to be on the hot seat or are already in the hot seat. We're going to be talking over. Uh, I have the standings up here, so if I look up, don't uh, think it's an insult. I'm looking at, you know, my computer screen here. Uh, in the AL East, you know, I understand that they just got over 500 tonight with their 4 nothing win over the Tigers, but it's hard to believe if, if Joe Girardi and the Yankees fail to make the playoffs this year, I think Joe Girardi will go. Um, and I'm going to give you, you know, these were the options that I was given, you know, um, the teams I have, you know, popped up emails and DM messages and stuff like that. Um, Tampa Bay's Kevin Cash, will he go? No. I will explain why. Kevin Cash has a group of players like Steven Souza Jr. and Corey Dickerson. And I think that Corey Dickerson trade really hurt them because they got rid of their closer, Jake McGee, to the Rockies. But the Rockies got a great closer to replace Latroy Hawkins, the longtime closer for the Rockies, who I think last pitched for the Blue Jays. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Um, uh, I don't really see anybody in the, the in the East really that much in trouble. In the AL Central, I'm still I'm still loving the fact my Indians are killing it this year. 34 and 26. We have a three and a half game lead of first place over the now sh second place Chicago White Sox. Um I am really flabbergasted that the Royals are th 30 and 30 here in June 11th of the season, and they're at the 500 mark. That's crazy. They've lost eight straight, and they're 11 and 23 on the road. Um, next one up here, I got the, uh, will the Twins fire Paul Molitor? Yeah, I think Paul Molitor's got to go. I don't think Paul Molitor, um, for whatever reason, I just don't think he's the right guy to teach them the talent. Um, I think a, a different manager that I think will get fired sooner this year, but I'll explain later in the video who I think it will be, their next manager. Um, but yeah, I, I go um, gone for uh, Paul Molitor. Um, oh, really? I think um, if the Tigers fail to make the playoffs, it was actually the one before the Mo Paul Molitor question, Will Brad Ausmus be dismissed? I think yes. Um, I mean, I think three out of those managers are in trouble. 
I think Paul Molitor is going to be gone. If not sooner, he's going to be gone later. Um, Detroit's uh, Brad Ausmus. I don't think Brad Ausmus will make it before the All-Star break. He'd be lucky to get into the All-Star break still as their manager. Um, and the one I'm still shot that, that, that hasn't given up on their manager is the White Sox, Robin Ventura. I'm shot that Robin Ventura hasn't been dismissed for one reason. Inconsistencies and the lack of pitching. Outside of Chris Sale and maybe Jose Quintana, they just designated for assignment Matt Latos. And I was like, what? I mean, Matt Latos was off to a great start. But apparently they saw a flaw in him and they said, bye Latos, we'll see you later. But, uh... Uh, I don't think it was Latos' fault, though. I don't think they have a good management. I don't think they have a good uh, coaching staff. I think they should clean house their whole coaching staff, the White Sox. Uh, White Sox are only a game above 500. AL West questionnaires coming up. Uh, will Mike Sosha be fired? Before or after the season, or will he be fired at all? Answer to part one of that question. No, I don't think he'll be fired before the All-Star break. Two, yes, I think he gets fired maybe a month before the season. And third, obviously, second question is answered. The third question is answered by the second question's answer. That yes, I think Mike Sosha is going to be gone. He's been there way too long. Angels, I think, if I'm not mistaken, since their 2002 World Series, and correct me if I'm wrong, I I don't follow the Angels, and I'm not you know insulting them or anything when I'm pointing it out, but they made the playoffs, I believe, I think four times since that 2002 World Series. And the Angels still haven't given up on him? I'm rather impressed that Sosha's made it that long. Because last time they made the playoffs, they were in the 2014 playoffs where they played the Kansas City Royals. And they were the number one seed in the A or in the American League. And they got swept by the Royals. They were the number one seed back in 07 or I believe in 07 or 08, and they got swept by the Boston Red Sox. I believe that was 07, because that was the year that the, the Red Sox beat my Indians. They made that epic sports history comeback where they came back from 03 and ended up winning 4-3. But, yes, I think the answer to that question is safe to assume that, yeah, yeah, they're, uh, Socia's done, in my opinion. In the National League East, eh, I don't see anybody getting fired there. I think, uh, I think, uh, oh, Dusty Baker. I can't believe I forgot that. Dusty Baker is the manager for the Washington Nationals. And to think they could have declined, they declined Bud Black as their manager and they took Dusty Baker. Smart decision. New York, uh, Terry Collins. I think he's one of the better managers in the game. I, I don't see him going. Don Mattingly, love Don Mattingly, but I don't think he's going to get fired. First year in Miami. Uh, Philadelphia, Pete McCannon, no. I don't think he'll get fired. And obviously Atlanta already fired their manager. Chicago, St. Louis, Pittsburgh are all safe. Milwaukee, Craig Council, I think he's got a good staff there in Milwaukee. I don't see him leaving. Uh, I do see Brian Price from the Reds. Yes, I think Brian Price will go. Uh, I, I don't see Brian Price making it, uh, making it before the trade deadline. I think he gets dismissed at around July, like somewhere in July. Uh, let's see here. In the NL West, uh, I think one manager, and here's the question I just got the pop of it, said, will the Arizona Diamondbacks fire Chip Hale? I'm going to have to say yes, 
because I think Chip Hale has made a lot of mistakes with the group of players, and he's made a lot of pitching mistakes going to their bullpen. Uh, I don't see Chip Hale making it this year. I think he may make out the year, but it's probably going to be that announcement where the Diamondbacks will say, we'll keep him till the end of the year, but that's it. Um, but I don't see Chip Hale making it out. And, of course, the rest of the uh, NL West, I think, is safe. I think Andy Green's safe in his first year as the Padres manager. Uh, Walt Weiss, I think he's done okay. I think he's done solid enough to keep his players but uh, they had a ep they just had a epic meltdown collapse at home to the uh, Colorado Rockies, or I should excuse me to the uh, San Diego Padres. They lost seven five at home. But um, I don't see I don't see Walt Weiss getting fired unless like unless they go like sixty and a hundred two. I I don't see him getting fired. But um. That does it for the uh, manager video on the hot, who's on the hot seat and who is on the safe side of the hot seat. Uh, leave comments in the comments below what you think, uh, whether you agree with my opinion or whether you think my opinions are wrong. Well, no one's opinion's wrong. I mean, and if you say my opinion's wrong, then go ahead. I mean, it's just an opinion. It's not like I'm, you know, throwing stones at anybody, but... Till next video, I'm out, everyone. Have a good evening.